one thing I've noticed about hunting over the years is that you go out day after day and you have all these different opportunities. Um, but there are some days, there are some opportunities that come around very infrequently. Um, and then there's opportunities that are even more special yet that I believe come around once in a lifetime. Uh, and for me, that, that would be how I would describe uh, this hunt in particular with the quality of the animal that we were able to harvest. Um, but more than that, uh, this time period in our lives uh, represents something very significant and special to me because this was a time where uh, our good friend Brian Tallarico and I, uh, we got to hunt together uh, every year. Uh, that has since come to an end. Um, but these are some very special memories. And this is a buck that we killed a few years ago together. Um, and I believe that this is uh, what I would consider a buck of a lifetime that goes almost 200 inches in Wyoming. Hope you enjoyed this hunt as much as we enjoyed making it. Wyoming is unbelievably rich in game, uh, and this is the first day of the hunt right now, and we're sitting up in a saddle, and we decided to sit up here all day long, and it's amazing how much activity uh, you get to witness when you sit in a single place all day uh, and just watch, and the clouds came in, and they left, uh, and we had sunshine, we had little bits of rain, uh, and we watched, and we watched, and we saw a lot of good animals, uh, but there comes a point in your hunting when um, you've taken a lot of animals and now you're really enjoying the experience uh, and some people would consider it trophy hunting and to a degree it is uh, but the trophy represents so much more than uh, just the antlers or the size of the animal uh, the longer you stay out there uh, the more time that you spend in the woods before you harvest your animal really enriches the experience you're spending time watching these animals in their habitat you're getting to enjoy uh, the creation that God has put before us, you're you're not in the busyness of life anymore. Uh, you don't have the you don't have the cell phone going off. You don't have emails coming in. Um, you're just sitting there and you're enjoying it. Uh, and that's part of what it is. Uh, you know what it represents to us being selective uh, in taking our animals. And so we were, Brian was being very selective on the animal that he wanted to harvest this year. Uh, and in that we got to enjoy looking at a lot of animals and just enjoying, uh, enjoying them before we made the harvest. Got him. Nice shot, Bri. That was a lump. Ooh! <laughs> dude. <laughs> we called it, dude. He's big, dude. We called it. That's a good deer. That's a good deer. We called it. He's 180s. Oh, nice brother. Guy. We saw him a half an hour ago. Dude, I kept looking at him. I was, like, he, I was thinking, because he was running with the same buck as we saw yesterday, but he's different. That's a good buck. I'm happy. Hey, no. He's one at high 180s. From what I saw, good forks. It's not the same year. So no. Nope. It's beautiful. But did you see the big sticker coming out of his side? I didn't. I was just looking in here. <laughs> Let's go get him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my God. Brian, Brian, Brian. That is the buck of a lifetime, brother. That is sick. It don't get no better than that. Uh, oh my gosh. Whew. 
That's a shooter. <laughs> oh my Thanks, God. guys. <sighs> that side there is going to score huge. Look at this. Got a All right, Colton, come and look at this thing. Bro, nice, too. See that sticker coming out on his left antler? Yeah, he's starting to grow here. You don't pass that ever. No, I don't see how you can. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't think he's a very old deer either. He's old enough. He's not. That one last year, the body, it's another foot longer, I bet. I don't know. Oh, I know. He's still. <laughs> I'm just saying, look at the spray. Oh my gosh. Dude, that's an impressive deer. Yeah. Hold him up, Brian. Oh my gosh. So it's uh, October 2nd here in Wyoming, and uh, we had an epic day. We made a different game plan. Yesterday we had a good day. Saw a lot of deer, saw a good buck running way too fast for us to do anything about. And uh, honestly, we got a little bit discouraged, I think, because we expected so much uh, in the opener. But today we uh, made a different game plan. We decided to still hunt up the canyon instead of uh, going on top of the mountain. And uh, we've never done it before uh, here, so Guess what? It worked out pretty well. Justin spotted this uh, buck quite a <laughs> several minutes before I shot him. And we just assumed it was the same bachelor group we saw yesterday morning. And in fact, it obviously wasn't because we didn't see this buck yesterday. And uh, we just maneuvered down at the bottom, got in better position. It was a 311 yard shot. And then I uh, you know, had a lot of luck involved and ended up taking this beautiful buck. It's my best mule deer to date. And uh, once again, I did it with uh, two great people, and it makes it that much more special for me. So, just uh, appreciate the opportunity to take such a such a great buck. Hey everyone, I just want to take you a moment and thank you all for watching. I thoroughly hope that you enjoyed this hunt. My friend Brian is actually the founder of Mountain Medic, uh, and the whole premise behind this is that a standard first aid kit really doesn't cut it in the backcountry uh, when you get hurt. Uh, you can take care of a couple of things. You have some pain, some pain relief, uh, some antibacterial, stuff like that. Uh, but that's not enough when you get into a real situation. And so Brian saw that gap. He saw that hole uh, that really needed to be filled and he developed these medical kits. Uh, so I encourage you to go over and check them out. If you're a serious uh, backcountry hunter or hiker, camper, whatever it is, uh, these kits are invaluable. And I really encourage you to go over to his website uh, and check out mountainmedic.com. Also, if you want to check out some more awesome uh, mule deer hunting in Wyoming, uh, right now what you're watching is a clip from a hunt a couple of years ago when we take a great buck down there, and I'm going to include the link at the end of this uh, at the end of this video, so you can click that and go ahead and watch uh, some more hunts from down here if this if you like this one. I just want to remind you if you want to stay up to date with everything going on, please subscribe to our channel, uh, and you can go over and follow us on Limitless Outdoors on Instagram. God bless you all and have a wonderful day.